Welcome to the most bizarre free-to-play game on Steam. One Steam reviewer recommended the game and said, so this is what the Chinese fairies play when they are high on meth. That's a real review. Someone else said, jank, but in a good way. 141 hours played. And worth a try, end of review. 138 hours played. Sponsored by Chimera Land, this game is like if a fever dream was coded by Willy Wonka, and if he was also crossbreeding every animal with every other animal at random on planet Earth. Begin. What was that sound effect? What is going on? What is this little goat monstrosity? Why does it look like a little Hawaiian goat princess? Why is there a whale in the background upside down? No, it's right side up. If that whale was upside down, I would have had to end the video right there. Okay, what else do we have? It was a cow sound earlier. It's Koo Woo. <laughs> Why is the biggest, most masculine goat the one with the most feminine sound? Oh, wait, look at this dial. Oh no. <laughs> is that your tail or are you just excited to see me? <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> this is if squids became sentient and also were jacked. This looks like the dad octopus in, I don't know what the game's name is, F. I don't want to be disrespectful, but kind of an inappropriate face, to be honest. You may have to blur. It's shark guy. The guy who's a shark. This is you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> no, this is you. <laughs> this is me trying to be sexy. Oh my god, stop it. You actually think I have beautiful eyes? You don't think my whiskers are too much? I've been thinking about shaving them. Why is she... Why the cup? Wow. This is too much. I'm overwhelmed. I guarantee half of this video is going to be the character career. This will be the sequel to Happy Feet and it'll be about birds instead of penguins. Dragoon. Okay, dragon people. This one is a shout out to all the furries out there. This is Puss in Boots, sick of being bullied in high school, does a bunch of steroids and then comes back to the reunion ready to murder everyone. And then we just got like regular guy. Oh my God, you can literally be a rhinoceros. <laughs> For some reason, jacked baby rhinoceros is speaking to me. So we can have the drooling crayon eating titan energy. You can do any color. This is just too much, dude. Low skin age muscle. Yeah, why not? Why do I look like a thumb became sentient? <laughs> My brain is huge or I've taken some hits. This is kind of familiar energy, just kind of your standard rhinoceros. And then you turn to the side and it's like, what happened? <laughs> the eyes. If the whole game was just this character creator, it would still be worth a download. I'm not happy with the direction that I've taken this head. And yet I feel like I'm too far down this path. <laughs> I mean, just the sheer amount of detail they put into the arm categories. I can give myself tiny little T-Rex arms. Oh my God. If this is what NFTs were, it would be a quadrillion dollar industry. Look at that little dumpy. I look like a cursed rhinoceros chicken. I feel like you would run into something like this in Dark Souls. I mean, I think I'm ready to proceed, but like, do I feel good about it? What have I done to your spine? Did I just invent scoliosis? Yet this all feels canonically correct for this character. Name, Heath. <laughs> this is more of a dog situation, I feel like. Okay, I'm just falling from space, just as I am. <laughs> oh my god, we're actually flying in. I don't want to say where we're dropping, but this is literally a situation where I do need to know where we are dropping. They actually made this a whole thing, okay? <laughs> All right, Doug, welcome to your new home. What's this doing? This is giving me logs. Jokes on you, I already had that this morning because my digestive system is healthy. Oh, I can fly. Doug, you can literally fly. Why can I do this? There's a white glowing, like a reindeer unicorn. It's horse deer. I can run. I run along the ground. <laughs> Look at me go with my tiny limbs. What is my objective? Why do I exist? I can challenge you or I can inspirit you. Should we put our spirits in each other or do you consent to me placing my spirit in you? Yeah, give me this. This feels important. Give, give. Okay, you can ride the tree on the way down. Literally ultra immersion. We have horse deer. We've got a scorpion crab. Hello. Are we cool? Answer me. Hello there. You seem to be cool. All right. Zoo says, welcome to my home. Something, something, something. Coming on a little strong. Just back off. Yeah, get it. Get that stone. Yeah, you love that. Put those magnificent limbs to use. Talk to the mysterious girl to learn about the thing. Oh, I talked to the girl in the menu. I'm like looking around furiously in game. Like, where is this girl I need to talk to? I like your um clouds, fame gift. You shouldn't have. 
I leveled up to level two. Yeah, I feel like I earned that level up. Equip worn rags. Is it on my body? Yes, it is. All right, I'm eating some grilled meat. I feel full of energy. <laughs> wow, that's so realistic. Is what I would have said, except it's 4.43 p.m. and I am... Rash. Why is it saying horse deer and then in brackets handsome? So I've got a crossbow. How do I use this? Why is it nighttime? Can I make it daytime again? What do I do weapons? One. I've got my very aggressive blade in my hands. Okay. I'm surprisingly agile and can w glide surprisingly well, considering I'm just a fat little rhinoceros abomination. Two is the crossbow. What if I attack this horse deer? Okay, this, first of all, this is a machine gun. Second of all, the horse deer has infinite health. I believe I've completely run out of ammunition. I did about, mm, at most 10% of the health here. I'm getting the blade out, let's go. I can teleport. This combat is a lot more robust and aggressive than I would have expected. Let's go ahead and retreat on this, considering that I am at half health and the horse deer is not even a third. What's going on with you, my friend? Looking very energetic. It's daytime, let's go, dude. Hello. What are you? Can I pat? Oh. Oh, I activated the evil totem. It disappeared. We're fine. What's going on here? What are you... <laughs> Control E to switch interaction target. Now that is a keybind, isn't it? Put that away, Doug. What is this in the distance? There's a giant giga spider. I'm not a fan of the old colossal spid. This is someone's base, I take it. What happens if I die? Is it important to to live. 42,500 year old grand mount spider. Such a specific amount of years to have been alive. Let's see how aggressive are you? Jesus, it's so much bigger than I thought it would be. Somebody already attacked you though. You've lost a bit of health. I'm going to contribute. Did I do anything? That looked like a direct impact. It literally said times two. I guess this spider's got so much health it just doesn't care that I'm attacking. The spider has not even acknowledged my presence, which is a little offensive. Like, at least acknowledge me, you know what I mean? 800-year-old grand parrot. <laughs> oh, look at his face. Ah, it looks like a big jello dragon. Yes, hello, my friend. It appears you are quite gelatinous. Everything okay with you? Okay. Well, all good. Tends 400 rounds, yep. So that'll be about one to two seconds of continuous firing. The question is, where do I want to build a camp? What about right here? Eight more logs to do this. Cringe. Shouldn't have spent all my logs on the arrows from earlier. I crafted too many. Life skills now available. Where were you when I needed you as a teenager? I've made so many mistakes. Uh, log? Imagine the log collides with the 500-year-old mount spider and just KOs it. No, it's gone. I have made one temporary camp. Oh, I need to place the camp from my backpack. Um... Uh... Oh, I did it! I'm contributing! Oh, there we go. Look at me go. This is glorious victory for me. If I can mount and ride the 500-year-old spider, then this will objectively be the greatest game ever made. Cool pet. Hello. I also can't help but feel like I'm an inch from death at all times, and I don't know how to get my health back. Oh, okay. Oh my- No! Jeffrey, you're okay. Jeffrey, you were made to ride up mountains. Haven't you seen Skyrim? Level four. I'm so great at progress. What do we have here? What are you up to? Oh, look at that tongue, though! Ooh. This is hunger personified. Or you be we talked about personal space. You're being a little inappropriate right now. There you go. Just, yeah, just stand anywhere but inside the thing. Man, it's such a fine line between the most bizarre free-to-play game you've ever seen on Steam and hentai. And I think we've found the line at this point. Why is he coming close? Don't tell me that I can change the appearance of my horse. I'm not... I, don't you do it. At this point, the game showed me a cutscene of the base building. Magnificent, sprawling mansions on vast estates. My mind was racing with the possibilities. How hard can it be, I thought, so I put my Fortnite building skills to work. This is why I never played Minecraft. All good. They also just added a new dinosaur update called Attack of the Tyrant. And no, it's not talking about my stepmom. You can tame the dinosaurs, make them a pet so they can devour other monsters, and then you can mount their body parts to your dinosaur body. I mean, Jesus, has science gone too far in this game or what? They also added an in-game dino museum. You can fight with your dinosaur, get dino-themed furniture. Really, it's making me sick how in-depth this update is. Thank you, Chimera Land, for sponsoring this video. The game is literally free on PC and mobile. Download it with the link in the description and use my code for some in-game coins.